Hi everybody, it's Kelly here with your Friday update for you. Um, so we're just going to go over what assignments are due and then a few other resources that I want to show you that are available to all of you. So first of all, let's head over to the attendance and participation assignments. Um, in that week two folder, keep in mind you've got that make a weekly schedule and the action plan for studying or a project. Um, so for the weekly schedule, as I mentioned, you can use the actual schedule temp template or um, you can take a screenshot of any other calendar um, application that you like to use. If you want to hand write your schedule, you can do that as well. Just make sure to take a picture. Um, if you have any issues with the upload, you can always just email me your schedule. Um, that's totally fine. Just make sure that it is um, labeled clearly so I know what it is. Um, and the same goes for the action plan. You can use the um, Word doc template and type into that, or you can type up uh, just an action plan for yourself in a different format. A quick reminder on the example, please include um, at least like five steps for the action plan. Um, that gives me enough to kind of grade off of, and it will hopefully be more useful for yourself. Um, we're practicing these action plans. That way, when we uh, get closer to the final project, you'll have a better idea and some practice on what I'm expecting for those. Um, okay, so the other thing that I wanna talk about is in the weekly reflections folder. So we're gonna check out our week two reflection. And so we've got identify and describe a time management strategy from an outside source that you would like to try, and why is this a good strategy for you? Um, so keep in mind, since you're using an outside source, you need to make sure to cite it. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that I do require a minimum of 150 words. So because there is a lot of flexibility in this course as far as um, when things are due, how you access the material, um, what time you engage with it. Um, I do need to have some slightly more strict and rigid pieces, and that's coming through in the grading. So on our first reflections, um, I was pretty lenient on a lot of things, but um, for these ones, I am going to start to get a little bit tougher on the grading for those. So please make sure that your responses are clear, free of grammatical errors, hit that minimum word count, and if you use an outside source, you must include an MLA citation. Um, when I say a minimum of 150 words, that means that you'll get enough points uh, to count as passing for that question, um, but give me some depth. Give me a clear and thought out answer. So our other two, we also have, how could maintaining a schedule assist with stress management and studying? And then what does effective studying look like to you? So these are all topics that I want you to self-reflect on and to really engage with. Um, a one sentence answer is not enough. So if you're struggling with ways to really bulk up that answer and give it a little bit more content, um, start to ask yourself why and how type questions. So for this first one, if you're identifying and describing a time management, yes, clearly tell me what it is and where it is and how you use it but then really dive into why it's a good strategy for you. Um, does it provide something that your current strategies don't? Is it significantly different from things that you've tried before? So looking into those questions will really give you a full, well-rounded answer, um, which will give you a better score. So keep those in mind. Um, I'm gonna head back to the announcements portion. Um, so I want to remind you all to keep an eye out on the announcements that I post. Um, I still have a couple people who either haven't done their instructor conversations or didn't attend their instructor conversations. Um, so please reach out to me if that's the case for you. Um, we can get them rescheduled if you missed them, or we can um, get one on the books for you in the first place. So those instructor conversations are important. Please don't save them until the last week uh, because only one per week will count as points, um, as I stated on the first day of class. So you can't just wait till the last minute and have four, four days in a row. Um, I do want these spread out so that I can continually see sort of how things are going for you um, in general. 
So what we're going to talk a little bit about next is some resources that are available to you, even though campus is currently closed. So a lot of you expressed that um, you felt like there wasn't much available on campus since everything's closed out, but that's not the case. Uh, so if you check out um, uidaho.edu and search uh, TCS or tutoring or anything like that, you can land on the tutoring and college success page. And if you're there and you head over to any of these things, you'll see that we have all of our resources available online. So we'll check out SI Pass first. Um, if you go here, you can see that um, for the remainder, right here, this part, for the remainder of the spring 2020 semester, all SI Pass sessions will be hosted online with Zoom. To attend an SI Pass session for your supported course, open the SI Pass schedule on this page and follow the appropriate join meeting link. So you just follow your schedule, um, and these are all hyperlinked to the Zoom schedule. So they occur at this time. So you can go on, check it out, set a reminder for yourself, and then click to join the Zoom meeting. So we have lots of courses available. Um, if you would like me to email you a copy of this link, please let me know. Um, I'm more than happy to do that. And then if we head over to tutoring um, and you check out the online tutoring schedule, uh, you'll see sort of that. So you can get that a few, um, a few ways. Uh, if we just click on the online tutoring, you'll see that these sessions are listed here as well that you can just click and join. Um, so it's sort of open drop-in sessions uh, for lots of different courses. Um, you can also look at the course or, or the, the schedule by college. And if you go there, it's a little bit easier to see who and when. So you could find, let's say you're in, that's a good one. Um, let's say you're in French and you wanna look at the French 407 lecture. Well, all of French is tutored by Maggie. So then what you would do is you would go back to our schedule and just find Maggie on the list and uh, click on join session when those things are happening. And then the last thing I want to talk about is academic coaching. So that's me as well as the other courses. Um, our, our stuff is still available. Uh, you'll log in via Vandal Star and search academic coaching and you can make an appointment from that page. Um, you can also email academic coaching or myself and we'll get a um, an appointment set up for you if you have any questions in general about tutoring um, or other services you can always email tcs at uidaho.edu and get connected with one of us who works here so one of the other services i want to talk about is the writing center um, so if you check out the writing center you can make an appointment and when you do that you can select um, either a online appointment that is asynchronous or a face-to-face -face zoom appointment um, so if you see down here they have their update um, with instructions of how to do that and what the two different types of tutoring are um, just so you can see or like you can get a, a feel for what to expect during those appointments um, and then the final thing uh, that I want to look at really quick is career services. And if you check out career services, so just searching for them, uh, they have all of their appointments online as well. So you can hit schedule now right on their front page. Um, and they have a list of what events that they have going, um, as well as job listings that are there, internships, info on all of those. So if you have any questions about sort of what, what to expect as far as um, internships in light of whoops, all that's going on, um, get connected with your career advisor and they can tell you a lot more um, and help you kind of navigate this difficult time with the job market as well. So I highly recommend checking out those things. Don't forget to get your assignments in on Sunday. 
Um, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help you. Um, and yeah, that is all that I've got for you. So I hope you all have a lovely um, weekend. Uh, stay safe. I hope you do something relaxing for yourself. Um, connect with some friends or family. Uh, do something that's enjoyable. And I will talk to you all next week. See ya.